Yes, I graduated. I'm going to work at a CPA firm and I'm going to become a CPA is my dream. But I need to pass all four CPA exams first. And in order to pass those CPA exams, of course, I need to register for those CPA exams. Do you know how to register for those CPA exams? I want to show you. And by the way, I graduated many years ago. My name is Rosie and welcome to CPA Career Path channel. First, you will need to create a new account with California Board of Accountancy. I have the link below for you. So now you need to fill out all personal details information here. Once it's done, go to select create account. And you will see this email showing the link that we just create account. Have your username, temporary password. So go back to the link and select login and have the username and password you have from the email. Make sure you change the password after you log in. So in this, when you log in, you will see different tabs. Make sure you go to every single tab and fill out all information. The status tab will show the exam sections uh, that you uh, pass or you do not pass or you're going to take. Information tab will just show general information for you. CBA unique identifier will be very useful when you pay for CBA exams. So, once you're done, you will receive an email saying that you need to pay $100. Also, this email includes all information you just complete from the website. Make sure you review and see everything is correct. And you print out and sign and date this form. And you send this form with a check to this address. You also need to send the official transcript for your application as well. I also had the CPA exam qualifications for your reference. Just comment below if you have any questions about these qualifications. Once your application gets approved, you will receive this email saying what next you need to do. I highlight some information here you, you need to pay attention, but make sure you read all information as well. This tab status is a tab you select the CPA exams. Once you select it, you will receive payment coupon. You will need to go to NASBA website to register new account and to pay for CPA exams. I will have the link below for you as well. Make sure you select the right state. And you select pay exams fees. Now because you are new, so we need to select register. Fill out all information here. For California, jurisdiction code will be CA. The candidate ID will be unique identifier number. Once you're done, select register. Here's how it looks once you get in the NASPA account. I, already, I don't have any pending exams, so you don't see anything. But once you make the payment, you will receive an NTS and show the exam sections. It could be one section or it could be all four sections. Make sure you read all information here. It's very useful for you for the, on the exam day. Once you're ready for the exam, go to this website to register for CPA exams. I will have the link below for you as well. So make sure you are both 18 years old. Must be very smart to take these exams under 18 years old. Next, you need to enter section ID and first four characters of the last name. You can find section ID from NTS. And now you know how to register all four CPA exams. I know you got this. Good luck. And comment below if you have any questions. And make sure you subscribe to the channel to watch more videos about CPA. 